I wanted to ask you a couple questions around Philadelphia, especially going back there last night and yeah. ringing the bell uh, before the game. Uh, what, what does that feel like to be back in Philly and, and seeing the Philadelphia 76ers oh, yeah. doing something uh, in the playoffs like you have guys have done the last couple of years? Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, like like I've said, it's it's been like Philly's a home away from home for me and always will be even after football and my family. Um, my wife's from South Jersey. Um, you know, my folks went to Villanova. And uh, it's just been a place that I admired from afar, like from a fan base perspective um, and namely from a football culture perspective, like as I played on other teams and to get an opportunity to play there, it kind of, just drove home everything I'd heard that was good about the city. And the city's way cooler than I think it gets credit for. I mean, just as a place to live. So, uh, you know, going back there last night, feeling the energy in that arena and just knowing that, like, yeah, they hit me in lane up. You know, we started the dog mask thing, and that really took off. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing that we'll always have that little piece of history there. And we've joked that, like, you know, they could win another five times. We'll always be the first. And, and you know, the masks, people loved it. So we threw on the mask. But – you know, last night uh, was awesome. Uh, you know, they, they were really on fire, and uh, and now we've got uh, multiple Game 7s uh, with a chance for possibly another one in the NBA playoffs right now, which is super cool. I mean, the playoffs with the NBA and the NHL right now, it's like the best time to be a sports fan. So it was cool to be a part of that. And you get good free, free seats right on the floor. <laughs> and, like, watching an NBA game up close to me just adds more value than I think – uh, almost any other viewing experience relative to sitting and watching it on TV. The off is all about movement and everything. You're under contract with with Philadelphia as of right now. What what does the future hold for you in Philadelphia? Is that something you're you haven't really had to take time to look at yet, or or, or something you're going to revisit down the line on what your what your career looks like moving forward? Yeah, you know it's hard to think about it. I mean, I've I've kind of spoken on it uh, in, in in the situation at length. So it's not one of those things that you know. It's like the more in the beginning, I was like, yeah, I'd like to be full disclosure with the fans on what's going on. But but at the end of the day, like, I don't think it's really that important what I'm doing or what I'm not doing. I just know that, like, every year um, I've always taken some inventory. And, you know, after 30, as you know, it's just uh, it's just football takes a toll on you. And, um, you know, you just you just have to really be in it all the way. Uh, and and uh, it's hard right now to, to think about, football you know with everything going on i got my big foundation weekend going on i got a lot of buddies coming in town and a lot of fun stuff around this time of year in virginia and you know training staying in shape but also just not sure what i'm going to do so uh i know that's a long answer to say i don't know but i also don't want to just say i don't know and then create some dead air <laughs> for more of the rich eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv for free on br live or download the rich eisen show app